Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Bolivar's Dream playthrough where things are going very, very well. Our economy is doing, is flying, um, you know, really going up. We are ranked 14th in the world now, and we are trying to put freedom of conscience in. I've actually decided off something, I'm doing something else after that, because everybody's online has been saying you want to go, um... Not free trade. Da -da 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 -da. To laissez faire, which allows us to get much more capital investments pool, which apparently will make much more money for the stuff we can build up. Um, can be used in manufacturing industries, mines, forests, and things. I don't know exactly how the investment pool works. Let's have a look. A portion of the dividends is collected from pops with ownership and shares. Oh, okay, so place, hang on, because I can apparently do it with some now, so if I were to... While it costs more... Does it start building up? No. I don't know. It confusing. Um. Shouldn't my principal be going up, not my revert the reserves? Uh, Anti-religious fury. Oh dear. Yeah, the petty bourgeois can be annoyed because they are basically uh, a, de a dead faction at this point in time. God, Britain owns so much around me. Ooh, they've changed colour. They've gained a little British flag. Oh yeah, should I? Oh, they, they count as part of this place. Which I have, I believe, yes. Let's have a look at some of my urban centres. And see how they would do by being leveled up. Not worth it. I don't have enough electricity around the place, basically. Okay, we're sitting at 11k while building. It's so solid, actually. What? What? America's gone communist! Oh, wow! The United Syndicates of America! Wow, that was, um... Unexpected. This war is still going on. Oh, wow, we're in 1904. I don't have much time left. This is effectively the World War One of this game. Well, this is a huge, long, brutal, ongoing war. Um, between Russia and Prussia. Who's actually on each side? Nobody else. How is Prussia holding on? I mean, wow. Okay, come on, lower our cost of engines.
I'm never going to form Grand Oblivia, unfortunately. We are going to run out of time before that, annoyingly, but... Right. Let's just have a look at this. So, my current law... Uh, agriculture, plantations... Manufacturing, mines, forestries, rubber plantations. No, it doesn't seem to make any difference. I, I honestly don't know. I am going to build one more, not barracks, one more construction place somewhere. There we go, because having them in the same place increases throughput, which is good. That is going to cost me a lot of money, but it will give me a lot more building power. And then let's get another power plant under the way straight away. Tools are fine. Hmm... Probably start. That's what I did say. I was going to start trying to build these places up a bit as well. Ooh. Furniture works there would be really good. The glass works here. Textiles mill here. Some tooling workshops out there. There we go. So just trying to uh, modernize these states a bit. We now have freedom of conscience. That's fine. Right, let's change this and see what it does. Cause, so what do I need for laissez-faire interest groups? Let me guess. The industrialists. So let's go to my government. I mean, they're not opposed to being brought in. I know it's not the one I wanted, but we'll go for it. Uh, da, 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 da. It'll piss off for rural folk. I don't care. So, laissez fair. Um. Fun, extra funds for the investment pool. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what it does for us. Some people have been screaming about it, saying it makes the world of difference to everything and makes their economy insane. So, we'll see. Goddamn defensive pact. Ooh. See, I could form a pact with you against the Peru, Peru, Bolivia, Brazil pact. God, so much turmoil. So apparently I can use that to build things. To pay for things.
Maybe it has been there, but I've just not noticed. It's only certain buildings. Basically, using switching to laissez faire will mean it can be used to much more of my buildings. With their support, the bill shall pass. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it didn't pass. We are still doing it. I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> Basically, I think the reason it's always low is because we're always building. You know what? Do it and see what happens. No, it, it hurt us. Oh wow, they have a spectacularly big market. So I can't end that yet. We'll see how it goes, basically. Say there is going well. Submarines have been invented. <clears throat> this is weird. Russia's still fine, and we've got communist America. And Russia has got a huge colonial empire as well. Russia has carved up a Big chunk of Africa, and that's hilarious. Hmm. Everything seems to be going nicely still. Come on. We now have laissez faire. So what people were saying to me was the investment pool becomes immense. The manufacturing industries <clears throat> ah, so the investment comes from resources. So when I'm not building, the investment pool will build. Ah, I get it now. So if I pause all of these. That builds up. And that's what we're using to build with. Basically, the reason it's never built up is because I never give it time to build up. Because I have never stopped building. Which means, which is why I've been bouncing up and down. Ah. Wow. Yeah, I probably want to do something to make the trade unions happier. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Public schools. We'll make the trade unions happy. There we go. I think it's time to go full military, guys. Full, over-the-top, insane military to prepare because... I, I need to try and expand a bit before the end. I need to be the trigger for World War One. More, more. No, that'd be bad. There he is, but bad. Still can't believe there's bits of...
Oh, I don't have a Colonial Affairs office. Oh. Mexico, yeah. Hawaii is still independent. How do I do naval invasions, guys? Do I want to take over Hawaii? Nah. I want to know how to build the Panama Canal. Oh wow, that didn't take long to, to come through. Why, that is going insane. Right. <laughs> Military barracks. You extra. <laughs> this is inevitably going to cost us a lot of money, but I feel I need a big military. Ooh. Yes, I will enter a. De Holy crap. Defensive pact with Austria, who is about to not exist. Oh, radical Russia! I mean, the Prussian war with Russia has fallen, but Russia is... Well, I commented on Russia not falling. It is falling. Oh, and we've dropped to 17th. That's annoying. End our trade agreement. I thought that would happen. Hmm. I mean, the second we start building, it'll, it'll sort itself, but still, that's kind of a worrying trend. Investment pool is through the roof, but I can't use that on barracks. Um, not that I've got such a stockpile, it's not really an issue. Bolt action rifles, please! least two more of those and where are our steel mills Go, let's fix that. How is my military looking? Sixty six. God. They're terrifying.
kind of wish I could send my army over to help them. Oh, we've somehow managed to drop back to impoverished. That is somewhat annoying, actually. Because we were middling. Oh. Okay, I think the rankings for it have changed a bit. Weird. I think it's the fact that I've got a laser there. I think I'm having far more taken off me than it before. Oh, Russia survived its revel its revolution. My economy seems to be recovering a little bit. Yeah, my my standard of living has dropped dramatically, annoyingly. Odd. Let's get those steel mills out quickly. And then I need more railways. And more locomotive. I need more of everything, basically. Steel is our major backlog at the moment, so yeah. Probably should have done the steel mill first. How quickly will it take to build it? There, we'll be building both at the same time, so that's fine. How you'd form Grand Columbia. I mean, I say this, every time I do this, we will get better. So, um, but Grand Columbia is, because basically you need to manage to control all. I actually think the way of doing Grand Columbia is not starting as anybody up here. I'll have to look at the achievement, because if it's just creating the nation and controlling the territory, you might be better doing it as Brazil or Peru, Bolivia. Because they both are much more of a power early game powerhouses than actual Grand than actual Colombia any of the Grand Colombian nations. Because they've got a population of what seven million. I've got a population of. Four million. They have gold mines galore. That's their major thing. Command economy, that's a weird one. Hey, I'm not messing around with it now. Oh, it's it's creating radicalism. Okay, in that case, yeah, because we're getting radicalism from it, we will we'll restore it. God damn my people not liking laissez-faire economies. Let's look how our steel mills are working. God damn cost of iron now is screwing us. It's 
So many moving parts sometimes. Why is the cost of iron here so high? Oh, it's not? Okay, we are getting there. We are getting there. Absolutely crash the price of iron. Which will hopefully help here. Not really. It seems odd that I'm I'm using my iron mines at the most basic level. Thing is, sometimes those changes really help because it, it changes even though it's saying it's negative. It's changing upstream costs quite a bit. The issue is I'm starting to run out of employment there. I think I'm going to go for that one. This will hopefully, yeah, they're placated, but still, that was getting bad. I suspect I may have had a little rebellion. Eh, whatever. You know where this is going, guys. Okay, I've got infrastructure issues there. Decree. Road maintenance. Oh. Seriously. Fix it. The industrialists are not happy with me. Eh, it's not the end of the world. So we are reenacting interventionism because my people want it. And then we are building a humongous military. Did Austria become... Nope. Austria is... F oh my god, Prussia is a republic. Churches. Oh, let's let's have a look at my buildings actually. See if that helps us everywhere. Urban centers. Yeah, not huge, but. And electric lighting everywhere. Oh, somebody was offering me an alliance. It was these guys, wasn't it, again?
I wish I could get an alliance. Let's have a look at my diplomatic plays. Somebody somewhere must want an alliance with me. No. <laughs> Every time I up my military, it is quite funny because I really do hurt things. 74. I'm getting there. I think if I get, get to 100, I may look at starting a war. I may regret it, but... No. Probably with Peru Bolivia. Okay, yeah, that that helped. Though I'm interestingly making much less money, but I don't know why. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Let's have a look at my military. Ooh, will cost much more money, but is much more effective. lose a hell of a lot of infrastructure, but it would also make us a hell of a lot of money. Doesn't appear to make us that much money, actually. There we go. <clears throat> we still have a lot of turmoil at the moment, but things are going well. Oh, steel is once again expensive. Next page. a fortune but at the same time they're not actually useful for us my military expansion is probably a little silly but we're at the point in the game where I can afford a little silly for 1910 we've got what 20 years left Poor huddled masses. Ooh. Let's see. Have a culture or migration in one of your target states. Okay. Possible. There we go. Switch sides. Play a full campaign. Okay. It's just insane. No way I'm managing that now. <clears throat> Starting as Mexico. <laughs> Own America. Oh, wow. Basically, I think that Grand Colombia, you're going to be better starting as one of these guys. And then forming Grand Colombia. Um, if you can do it that way. I might have to have a play at some point, but yeah. Cultural exclusion? Wow. 
That's nasty. Intelligentsia? What's the difference? You know what, I'm actually going to go for a different one than what they want, but hopefully it will get rid of that. Because if I can have all my cultures accepted, hopefully it will help more with radicalism. 83. Oh, I am... I am a major power! I have become a major power. I am now ranked ninth in the world. My people are now middling again. That is good. <clears throat> My literacy is fairly solid. My GDP is good. We did take a bit of a hit a bit back, but yeah. We are a great power. We are a major power. Not a great power, but great powers are right at the top. The United Syndicalists. How much of the military? So who are they? With Canada. Ooh. Interestingly, I think I could take him. <laughs> Revenge will finally be mine. Just checking I'm not thinking anything stupid. Yep, yeah, defensive pack with them. Ah, uh, they are a protect protected by Russia, who is the chonk. That said, Russia is also about to be involved in a hideous European war. Oh! Who else is involved in this? Russia is about to be. Oh, yeah, that's something worth us doing. Buildings. Hmm. Ah, no, I just changed the type of guns they're making to bolt action. Yeah, it needs oil. Even though it costs us money, I'm doing it because it's something we need. No. It's time to do this. It's now or never with this. If I can. Interactions. Expel diplomats. God damn it, they like me too much. Oh, 
Oh, Russia is a pariah state now. Holy crap, is Russia... Have we literally just had the equivalent of World War One start? No, it is only Italy. Italy is scary, though. Okay, interactions. This is where I could potentially screw everything up, guys. So it's good fun, but I'm, I'm at that point where... Right. Diplomatic actions, diplomatic plays, conk state. Check if they've made friends with anybody else first. Nope. So. Hmm. Conk state. There we go. And let's add a few more. Liberate a Rio Grande. Uh, state there, Cruz. And their capital state. If I can. I can't. That'll do for now. We're basically splitting them in, forcibly splitting them in two. I suspect. I need more generals. Don't think I will need my conscripts in this war. Navy. Raid convoys. Okay. So I'm technically fighting Russia. Offer an obligation to France to get them to join. <laughs> Make another massive war. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Russia. Yeah, my target is Russia. Oh, they're a protectorate. I could have just stolen them. Hang on, I'm being a dumb derp. God damn it. I should have just transferred the state. Because I forgot they were a protectorate is a type of... or building for now. Actually, no, I don't need to. Oh, my 
god, 101, because Russia is a little busy. Oh, they, they caved. <laughs> oh, I would love to have released them, but they'll do now like that for now. I am not incorporating them. How is my military going? Do I do it? Do I do it? I love that, that Russia and Italy are at war, but nobody's actually done anything. Anyway, guys, after that, after being able to bully Mexico once again, finally, we're going to end it for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying watching me bully. I mean, this playthrough. <laughs> Next time, I think we have to try and go for one of these guys. We are potentially powerful enough now. Though, I don't have as many conscripts, but I have a hundred battalions which are fully fledged. Need to work on my military industry a little bit. Basically, my steel mills need to be much better. Um, probably maybe pump out a few more battalions, maybe 10, 20 more battalions, and then we will have some fun. Um, I obviously also need to deal with this. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And an extra special thank you to my channel members, Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Cody Monster, Jason Net, and Jared Horn. Thank you all.